The way the Lord spoke with me, this was urgent. I have seen everything abominable in that nation. The Lord is asking for repentance. Now there is going to be a historic earthquake visit the United States. The Lord is asking for repentance. So the televisions are going to report how this earthquake will have happened. So this message I'm giving you now is red hot coming from the throne of God this afternoon a huge earthquake struck and people were panicked and trembling and running up and down and they said I had people saying look it has gone on for more than 42 seconds Amtrak train to DC when suddenly Union Station, the train station, started shaking violently. <laughs> Officers yelling to us and to everyone to get out. As passengers ran to safety, there were immediate fears here that this was something worse. Products leapt off the shelves in supermarkets. The powerful tremor lasted 30 seconds. This grocery store captured the 5.8 tremor as it knocked goods from shelves. I feel a uh, movement of the earth and then silent and then again another time so far and then a very noise boom sound like a bomb throughout the Washington area office buildings were evacuated leaving workers literally shaken all of a sudden you, you felt the floor rumbling from under your feet and when I stood up to go see what it was the whole building just shifted like that and shook some feared the worst. I thought it was an explosion and terrorist attack. Never would I ever think earthquake in D.C. The ground actually lifted up under my feet. And it, it was kind of compared to a roller coaster ride where you lose your weight for a moment. You know, you feel weightless for a second and then drop back down. That was the effect of it. Thank you. 
today, the 23rd of the month of August, the year 2011, the Lord God Almighty, the God of heaven, the creator of all the universe, the Blessed One of Israel, the God of Abraham, the God of Isaac and Jacob. He has spoken with me about a historic earthquake that is going to befall the earth. And in that conversation of the Lord today, this afternoon, so this message I'm giving you now is red hot coming from the throne of God this afternoon. And then the Lord showed me a huge earthquake, a blow struck. And people were panicked and trembling and running up and down. And they said, I had people saying, look, it has gone on for more than 42 seconds. And then I see people running one lady ran to the TV, to a room where there was a TV, and they showed how the earthquake struck. And people were panicked and trembling and running up and down. And they said, I had people saying, look, it has gone on for more than 42 seconds. And the news was reporting that on TV, how this humongous earthquake shook the entire city. Tremendous earthquake. It will take place in the West. And then I heard the voice of those who were saying, look, this earthquake has taken place in this valley. They are talking about the whole of this valley. So there is a tremendous historic earthquake coming to visit the beautiful city with very tall buildings, the skyscrapers. It will take place in the West. The Lord has spoken to me just a few hours ago that the nations of the earth may prepare, that they may be aware that Jehovah has spoken. The God of Israel has spoken. Elohim, Yahweh. His name is Adonai. He has spoken. There is going to be an earthquake. Even according to Matthew chapter 24 verse 7. There will be famines and earthquakes in various places in these last days. These are the signs that the Messiah is coming. It's a city with tall skyscrapers. It will take place in the West. And the earthquake, when it takes place, panic, distress, running, anxiety, fear. I am announcing the coming of a tremendous earthquake, a historic temblor. It's going to happen in the United States. I have seen the sexual sin in that land. I have seen the gospel of prosperity preached by the pastors, the homosexuality, the gay marriages. I have seen everything abominable in that nation. The Lord is asking for repentance.
Today being the 23rd of August, the year 2011, the Lord spoke with me this afternoon, just a few hours ago, regarding a very tremendous event that is coming to the earth. And in that conversation, the Lord, he took me to a clinic. And there is this doctor, a woman doctor, who was treating people. I could see her patients waiting. I can still see them, actually. I can see the patients waiting at the, at the waiting room. And she's seeing the patients in one by one. And the Lord brought me into that clinic. And then all of a sudden, as I was there, a huge earthquake took place. A big temblor. And I had everybody weeping and wailing and saying, look, it has gone on for more than 42 seconds. This was urgent. And then I saw people running. I saw them running, looking for any kind of information on this historic temblor. And because I've spoken these things today with my prophetic tongue, the Lord is asking for repentance. This was urgent. I have seen the sexual sin in that land. I have seen the gospel of prosperity preached by the pastors. The homosexuality. The gay marriages. I have seen everything abominable in that nation. Now there is going to be a massive historic earthquake visit the United States. I am announcing the coming of a tremendous earthquake, a historic temblor. It's going to happen in the United States. And I had everybody weeping and wailing and saying, look, it has gone on for more than 42 seconds. And then I saw people running and the televisions were reporting how the earthquake happened. So the televisions are going to report how this earthquake will have happened. And I heard people saying that the entire valley has been totally shaken by God. Shaken by the Templar. Let me tell you precious people. The Lord is asking for repentance. This was urgent. I am announcing the coming of a tremendous earthquake, a historic temblor. It's going to happen in the United States. I have seen the sexual sin in that land. I have seen the gospel of prosperity preached by the pastors, the homosexuality, the gay marriages. I have seen everything abominable in that nation. The Lord is asking for repentance.
The eastern seaboard was jarred today by one of the strongest earthquakes ever recorded in the region. The U.S. Geological Survey estimated more than 12 million people felt the quake. There were fears of a terrorist attack in New York and Washington today as the cities were rocked by a strong earthquake. It hit mid-afternoon, surprising residents along the east coast. A TV camera trained on the White House shook violently as the quake sent snipers on the roof scrambling. Bricks toppled from buildings, Jesus Christ. showering cars and footpaths. Products leapt off the shelves in supermarkets. All of a sudden the whole entire house started shaking, the dogs started running, pictures started falling. I feel a uh, movement of the earth and then silent and then again another time so far and then a very noise boom sound like a bomb the floor rumbling from under your feet and when i stood up to go see what it was the whole building just shifted like that and shook both the pentagon and the capital were evacuated i thought it was an explosion and terrorist attack never would i ever think earthquake in dc the epicenter was in Virginia, but the quake was felt across a dozen states. In New York City, Away from the and into the Let's go. tens of thousands streamed out of rocking skyscrapers. The whole building started shaking, then we got up and we started shaking, everybody was screaming. Airports were closed for hours, two nuclear reactors shut down. Media conferences were interrupted as reporters raced for the door. I have seen the sexual sin in that land. I have seen the gospel of prosperity preached by the pastors, the homosexuality, the gay marriages. I have seen everything abominable in that nation. Now there is going to be a massive historic earthquake visit the United States. The televisions are going to report how this earthquake will have happened. The eastern seaboard was jarred today by one of the strongest earthquakes ever recorded in the region. The U.S. Geological Survey estimated more than 12 million people felt the quake. This is a CBS News special report. We are interrupting the programming this afternoon because of a rather unusual event. There has been an earthquake along the eastern coast of the United States an earthquake that has been felt from Virginia all the way up to Massachusetts. It was felt all up and down the eastern seaboard from Virginia to Massachusetts. The U.S. Capitol building and the Pentagon were evacuated. I feel a uh, movement of the earth and then silent and then again another time so far and then a very noise, boom, sound like a bomb. Throughout the Washington area, office buildings were evacuated, leaving workers literally shaken. All of a sudden, you, you felt the floor rumbling from under your feet, and when I stood up to go see what it was, the whole building just shifted like that and shook. Some initially feared the worst. I thought it was an explosion and terrorist attack. Never would I ever think earthquake in D.C. At the Justice Department, Attorney General Eric Holder says his first thought was terrorism. Fire Lieutenant Floyd Richardson. I mean, like I said, we were sitting in the firehouse and all the walls started shaking and I was sitting in the chair. The chair started jumping up and down. It was just something that I don't know how to explain it. It's just like people say, it's like a bomb going off around you. 
As many as 12 million people felt the biggest earthquake to hit the East Coast since 1944. At 1.51 in the afternoon, everything started moving. A 5.9 magnitude earthquake jolted much of the East Coast, from Massachusetts to Ohio to Georgia. The U.S. Geological Survey said the quake occurred in central Virginia, about 165 kilometers south of Washington, D.C. It's the most severe quake in the area. Buildings shook. Workers in the nation's capital streamed out of their offices. All the birds got up at one time and flew off, and that's when the ground started shaking. And you can see the buildings over here, like, started shaking. We interrupt this program for breaking news from ABC 11 Eyewitness News. 5.8 earthquake reported outside of Richmond, Virginia. The shaking was felt actually right here in the triangle. We felt it here in the newsroom. I was in our parking garage and the pillars were shaking in there. It was also felt in Washington, D.C. and as far away as New York City. We this is WPTV News Channel 5. Powerful earthquakes centered in Virginia shook from the Carolinas to Martha's Vineyard and beyond. It was just after lunch when things began to shake along the eastern seaboard. The powerful quake rattling buildings and nerves. I could see the buildings moving side to side, and I was like, oh, okay, okay, yeah. The quake was centered northwest of Richmond, Virginia, and was felt as far south as South Carolina. Even in Chicago and Detroit, there was shaking, and also shook to the north in New York City, where crowds felt it in Times Square, and the floor of the New York Stock Exchange cleared out after the tremor. But what's a little bit unusual about this one is the size of the event. So this is significantly larger. The 5.9 quake is the largest recorded in Virginia. A huge earthquake on the northeastern seaboard area of the United States. It appears to have been centered in a town in southern Virginia around the town of Mineral. It's about 85 miles south of Washington, D.C., and it was uh, uh, felt all the way from North Carolina right the way up through Washington. They evacuated the Pentagon and uh, the White House there. The quake centered about 100 miles south of Washington hit just before 2 in the afternoon. Uh, the whole building was shaking, the whole block was shaking. Workers in downtown Washington office buildings quickly flooded into the streets. We were in the restaurant and the whole, it just like, just shook the roof, I mean the ceiling, the floor, everything. It was felt as far away as Manhattan. I have seen the sexual sin in that land. I have seen the gospel of prosperity preached by the pastors, the homosexuality, the gay marriages. I have seen everything abominable in that nation. Now there is going to be a massive historic earthquake visit the United States. The eastern seaboard was jarred today by one of the strongest earthquakes ever recorded in the region. The U.S. Geological Survey estimated more than 12 million people felt the quake. The room protected. shook during a news conference in New York City as a 5.9 earthquake struck the East Coast. Everyone ran out of the room. People from North Carolina to New York felt the ground shake. The whole building started shaking. Then we got up and we started shaking. Everybody was screaming and we all got dizzy and then we just ran out. The earthquake forced thousands of people into city streets as buildings were evacuated. It was, it, was, it was a surreal experience. The U.S. Geological Survey reports the epicenter was between Charlottesville and Richmond near Mineral, Virginia. To our other big story, a 5.9 magnitude earthquake rocks the East Coast. In Washington, the Pentagon was evacuated for a time, as was the State Department. Office workers flooded downtown streets. Uh, the floor started to shake. I really seen the chandeliers move. But uh, when the floor started to shake, I couldn't really stand. Yeah, I, I could barely stand. I started just to run to the top. It started shaking a little bit more violently, and everybody stood up, walked into the hallway, trying to figure out what to do. I was, uh, was in my office, and uh, I thought it was like a terrorist attack or something. And... Um, so I was pretty scared. And even with Congress on recess, thousands of staffers still at work fled buildings on Capitol Hill. First you heard the, the shaking and the stuff moving, and then, I mean, you felt the ground shaking, but then it just, everything just shifted all of a sudden. It just, you know, then you heard, you heard people just like, you know, screaming, get out, get out, get out of the building. 
Mobile communications networks were quickly overloaded as millions called, texted, tweeted, and overtaxed the airwaves. There were some I am announcing the coming of a tremendous earthquake, a historic temblor. It's going to happen in the United States. I have seen the sexual sin in that land. I have seen the gospel of prosperity preached by the pastors, the homosexuality, the gay marriages. I have seen everything abominable in that nation. Now there is going to be a massive historic earthquake visit the United States. This is most historic. Once in a century earthquake rocked Virginia Tuesday, rattling high rises in the state capital and shutting down two nuclear power reactors within 10 miles of the epicenter. The ground actually lifted up under my feet. And it, it was kind of compared to a roller coaster ride where you lose your weight for a moment. You know, you feel weightless for a second and then drop back down. That was the effect of it. All of a sudden, the whole entire house started shaking, the dogs started running, pictures started falling. The surveillance camera inside this grocery store captured the 5.8 tremor as it knocked goods from shelves. After it was over, the aisles were impassable. In Richmond, workers rushed from office buildings that swayed and shook as the earth rumbled. About 250 residents were evacuated from this high-rise for the elderly after reports of buckling bricks and a damaged stairwell. I saw the windows and the blinds moving back and forth and like the sofa shifting back and forth and I came on out of my apartment. We were pulling into the train station in Washington, D.C. when the station suddenly began to wildly shake. Officers yelling to us and to everyone to get out. As passengers ran to safety, there were immediate fears here that this was something worse. The ground started shaking, people started screaming and running around. All of a sudden, everything just shook. Things, a couple of things fell off the table, and then everybody scrambled to the exits. In Northern Virginia, cars smashed with falling bricks. In Baltimore, part of a warehouse collapsed. This was one of the strongest earthquakes ever to hit the East Coast. Even meteorologists were caught by surprise. Why is everything shaking? Look at the lights. Where the earthquake was caught by a supermarket security camera. And nearby, another store where the ceiling collapsed. And then all of a sudden it sounded like a freight train was coming through and the ceiling started falling. At the North Anna nuclear facility, just miles from the epicenter, two nuclear reactors automatically shut down. In those moments when so many feared far worse. I have seen the sexual sin in that land. I have seen the gospel of prosperity preached by the pastors, the homosexuality, the gay marriages. I have seen everything abominable in that nation. Now there is going to be a massive historic earthquake visit the United States. This is most historic.
Now there is going to be a massive historic earthquake visit the United States. This is most historic. In Washington, the White House, the Pentagon, and the U.S. Capitol were all evacuated as the building shook. A tower cam overlooking the White House shakes as earthquake hits the East Coast. A TV camera trained on the White House shook violently as the quake sent snipers on the roof scrambling. The quake hit just before 2 p.m. with a magnitude of 5.8. Stationary cameras caught scenes of shaking from the White House. The White House shook as the quake hit. About 80 miles north of the epicenter in the nation's capital, a static camera trained on the White House captured the tremors. People quickly evacuated buildings all over town. The Capitol and national monuments were among buildings evacuated in Washington, D.C. We're following breaking news right now out of Washington, D.C., where an earthquake has been felt in the D.C. area. The Pentagon has been evacuated. All national monuments and parks in Washington were closed and evacuated as a precaution. The same was true for the White House, and much of the Pentagon reportedly evacuated as well. Washington, D.C. It's an eerie feeling standing on top of the Sky News building here in Washington with sirens howling around us. The streets are full of people evacuated from buildings. Behind me is the evacuated Capitol Hill building, completely empty of government workers. And over there is Union Station. As you can see, all the people that were in the station when this earthquake happened uh, have had to be uh, evacuated. They rushed out into the streets. A 5.8 uh, earthquake on the Richter scale. Um, something you don't expect to happen in Washington. The White House, the Pentagon, and the U.S. Capitol were all evacuated. As the building shook, workers in the nation's capital streamed out of their offices. When the ground started moving, emergency officials evacuated the White House, Pentagon, and Capitol. The senator uh, telling me live that the ground literally shook beneath them. I never felt anything like this. Uh, everything started shaking. The desk, the cameras, the floor, everything around me. It was shaking uh, so demonstrably that my papers, my scripts, everything around me was just bouncing up and down. I am announcing the coming of a tremendous earthquake, a historic temblor. It's going to happen in the United States. I have seen the sexual sin in that land. I have seen the gospel of prosperity preached by the pastors, the homosexuality, the gay marriages. I have seen everything abominable in that nation. Now there is going to be a massive historic earthquake visit the United States. This is most historic. And at Washington National Cathedral, the tops of three spires, gargoyles, and other decorative features came crashing to the ground. Hunks of stone fell at the National Cathedral. Washington's National Cathedral was cordoned off, and there was some damage apparent high atop its main tower. Structural engineers will evaluate the building this week. Stone masons and hard hats got a first-hand look at the damage Tuesday's earthquake did to the Washington National Cathedral. Well, without a doubt, this, this the top of the tower is, is the absolute worst. The 5.8 magnitude quake knocked statues loose and sent capstones from the highest parts of the towers crashing down to the roof. The cathedral remains closed. Virginia's governor surveyed the damage. There's going to be um, a, a long recovery period. And at the National Cathedral in Washington, damage to three of the four pinnacles atop the tower. 
Some spires were damaged at the Washington National Cathedral. The National Cathedral was closed after losing a chunk off its central tower. The National Cathedral damaged, pinnacles falling to the ground. This woman tweeted, I'm holding a piece of the National Cathedral in my hand. The Washington Monument has been closed indefinitely whilst repair work is carried out following last month's earthquake. Visitors won't be able to go up the iconic tourist attraction. The monument is the tallest structure in Washington, the world's tallest obelisk and the world's tallest building made of stone. The building attracts more than 800,000 visitors a year. It's a symbol of America, instantly recognizable. 10,000 tons of pure marble anchored into bedrock right below the swamp. The Washington Monument, once the tallest structure in the world, with those sweeping views of centers of power like the Capitol and Pentagon. It's brought us a bird's eye view of some of America's biggest moments, inaugurations, Martin Luther King Jr.'s March on Washington. It's an icon of this country. An and icon. It is, I mean, an icon. It is. It is. And central to so many people's visits to D.C. But the city's centerpiece set shuttered, closed to tourists for most of the past decade. 2011, a rare East Coast earthquake rattled the region, raining rocks on dozens of visitors who survived more than two terrifying minutes at the observation deck 500 feet up. The more than century-old monument didn't escape unscathed. The earthquake damage was extensive. Engineers repelled off the top, providing this heart-pounding look down. And what they found scared the Park Service enough to close the attraction to tourists and trigger a $15 million restoration project. It was a monumental task to fix the massive marble obelisk with 36,000 separate stones. Some cracked so badly the sun shone right in. And engineers will be rappelling down the Washington Monument today to inspect cracks that opened up during an earthquake. It comes as we see for the very first time just what it was like inside the monument when the quake struck. This is how an earthquake looks 500 feet above the earth. Surveillance cameras throughout the Washington Monument captured August's 5.8 magnitude quake. As the obelisk begins to tremble and shake, confusion and then frenzy as tourists run for cover. Watch as this woman falls during the commotion. Others look up as chunks of monument rain down. A father looking for his son before running for safety. And an aerial inspection of the Washington Monument revealed cracks in some stones. It's closed until experts can figure out the best way to fix it. This morning here, we're getting a clearer picture of the damage, that crack at the top of the Washington Monument. The estimated 5.8 quake drove thousands from office buildings and train stations, even damaged national treasures, creating that crack in the Washington Monument's capstone. In the nation's capital, the Washington Monument remained closed while inspectors analyzed cracks near the very top. There is this doctor, a woman doctor, who was treating people. I could see 
her patients waiting. I can still see them actually. And she's seeing the patients in one by one. And the Lord brought me into that clinic. And then all of a sudden, as I was there, a huge earthquake took place. A big temblor. And I had everybody weeping and wailing. We were in a valley. The entire valley has been shaken by the temblor. We were in a valley. The entire valley has been shaken by the temblor. I have seen the sexual sin in that land. I have seen the gospel of prosperity preached by the pastors, the homosexuality, the gay marriages. I have seen everything abominable in that nation. The Lord is asking for repentance. Now there is going to be a massive historic earthquake visit the United States.
book of Matthew 24 verse 7 says there will be famines and earthquakes in various places right before the Messiah comes and that is part of the central prophecy Jesus gave to the church regarding the days right before he comes prepare the way the Messiah is coming and when these things happen it shall be known that the mouth of the Lord has spoken and that I am his servant and that the Messiah is coming.